Wow, wow, wow. It is good to see you. Hello, wherever you are, the Lord bless you. Thank you very much for joining us. My name is Victor, and let's just begin with a word of prayer for the next session. Lord and King, we worship you, we adore you, we give you praise, glory, and honor. Thank you for your goodness and mercies. Thank you for watching over us, over us till this far. Thank you even as we begin yet another class. We pray, my God, may you visit with us, may you teach us, may you help us understand that which you're saying. We honor you, we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wonderful. It is good to see you. Karibu sana. Tell your neighbor, tell your friend, tell your mommy and uncle, uh, uh, daddies, or those who are with their aunties, say hello to them and they're all welcome to our class. Kid, guess what? We finished our class season of the Lord's Prayer, but today we're going to do a recap. What is a recap? Just a revision of what the, we learned over those few weeks. So, here we go. The Lord's Prayer is, uh, is a prayer that was taught to us by Jesus, you know. And there's a reason as to why Jesus taught us this prayer. It's so that we understand on how things are done the kingdom way, okay. So Jesus explained to his disciples that prayer is a conversation with God, okay. And we also established that God is our Father. Are we together? So Jesus uh, tells his followers that when they pray, they should do it for God and not to be seen by men. We don't pray that men will see us. 
okay so in in, in Matthew chapter 6 Jesus explains all these things uh we don't play, pray to show off that oh we are spiritual we know how to do these things no we pray for the sake of God not for me it's not for me okay so that's why we should take ourselves uh to a private place you know and and and, and it actually says close your door closing your door means be in a private place so that we don't pray for someone else to hear we're praying that God would hear okay we are talking to God we are conversing with our God our father okay and so we don't we, the, the reason for this for taking yourself in a private place is that we don't get distracted we, can, we don't pray uh playing with our friends i will not we won't be connecting with God yeah so, so it's important that when you're talking to someone you just talk to them when also when it comes to prayer when you're praying to God we focus on our god okay so the reason for going secluding yourself or putting yourself in a in a in a in a, in a place where um, we don't get interacted by noises or music or things playing around uh removing our focus from god is so that we give god the honor he this he deserves okay good also another example the reason why uh, there's a there's a group of people that are called the pharisees they prayed in public so others people can see them yeah we jesus warned us not to pray also as unbelievers and believers are people who do not believe in god they just repeat words and guess what it's not in the uh, there's no power in repeating prayers okay or, or, or using many words but instead we should understand that our father already knows what we need all we need to do is do what ask okay so those are some of the things we are establishing from the Lord's prayer as we were studying uh through the month and, and, and as Jesus uh categorically explained to his disciples or his followers those who followed around yeah So Jesus this was Lord's prayer is an example of prayer that Jesus gave us okay and he said our father in heaven our father in heaven may your will be done okay I'll, i'll take that again our father in heaven may your name be kept holy may your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven jesus told us to ask god to make his will be perfectly done on earth his will is what he desires to see so in this prayer he says let it be done here like I, like as we live our day to day lives we want to experience god's will for us okay i want to go into example today and jesus continues in prayer saying give us our daily bread give us our daily bread the food that we eat every day give us our daily food and forgive us our sin even as we forgive those who sin against us mm-hmm. don't lead us into temptation do not lead us into doing evil okay that is a prayer that we ask also ask we do, that god does not lead us into doing evil uh and also it ends by saying for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for thine for yours is the kingdom the power and the glory forever amen okay so lord's prayer is very very important uh is is a is a, is a good guideline for prayer like we have said up there we've started with the god's um we acknowledge his goodness his lordship as a father and 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 and, and his kingdom you know and we also ask him for his will to come on earth as it is in heaven and we are also believing him for our daily food and i is the one who forgives us our sins when he forgives us our sins we are to get in 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 in, in good books with him we are friends with him because god does not like sin so when we sin we ask we come to ask for forgiveness and when he forgives we are clean and so we can relate with him openly the same way we also ask 
they are being asked to forgive those who have sinned against us. Okay? So those who have sinned against us, we, we forgive them. And the Bible says when we forgive them, we are also opening our, ourselves up for, for being forgiven. Okay? So you cannot ask for forgiveness yet. You are not giving forgiveness. Okay? So we also need to tell other people that um, we forgive them. Okay? But also remember, if you have wronged someone, also ask them to forgive you. Okay? So this prayer is, is, helps us in many ways. Okay? And um, as, we, as, we, as you do this, we also tell, ask God to help us not to be led into temptation. You see, we can ask God to protect us from going into do, being tempted or going to, to try and do evil. Okay? To be tempted is to be uh, lured or to be drawn to doing something that is not right. But God is able to help us not to be tempted that way. Okay? So God is able to divert you to a, a, the right path. So that's why we ask. Because with our own strength, we cannot help ourselves. But we ask for his help. And he is able. And he is so good. When you ask him, he hears us and he answers. Okay? And then as we prayed last week, we said last week, for his is the, key, the power, the glory, forever and ever. Amen? For his is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. So every time we pray, we need to acknowledge that he is God, that he is powerful, that all the kingdom is his, and, 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 and all the power, and all the glory forever and ever. Amen. At this point, I just want to say, I hope you learned something. I hope you've been blessed. I hope you're putting this into practice. But guess what? I also want to invite those, for those of us who may not really believe. You know, I said back then, uh, when I was, I was doing a recap, I, Jesus, we remember there's someone who said, someone Jesus talked, talked, talked about the Pharisees. And the Pharisees, they prayed in public, for people to see. Or the unbelievers, they just repeated words. Okay? So, we don't want to be like the unbelievers. We don't want to be like the Pharisees. We want to be those who follow Christ. Okay? And if you follow Christ, you become a child of God. So, how do we become children of God? So, I just want to welcome you into the uh, moment of prayer and just believing in God uh, that you can become a child of God. And all this that we're asking for will become a uh, part of us. So, for God's kingdom to be manifested in our lives, we need to have him in our lives, okay? For this prayer to become a reality for me and you, okay? So, at this point, I just want to welcome you. For those who do not know Jesus Christ as their personal savior, I, might, I want to invite you to a moment of prayer uh, and, and believing in God. And, and I hope that uh, this is speaking into your heart right now. So if you want to become a Christian, if you want to become a child of God, uh, you can lift your hand. Yes, yes, yes. And believe with me uh, in prayer. Say with me uh, these words. Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. Forgive me my sins. Uh, make me a child of God. And help me to follow you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Boys and girls, if you have said that prayer, you have just been born again. You have just, well, joined the big family of, of God led by Jesus Christ. And we are in the kingdom. The whole kingdom is celebrating. Yay! Awesome. Thank you very much for being uh, with me, for staying put all those weeks going through the Lord's Prayer. I hope you have learned something. May the Lord bless you and keep you and have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday and a great week ahead. Let us welcome uh, Teacher Anto to come and continue with the next class. Karibu sana Anto. The Lord bless you. Our Father Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as
as it is in heaven. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our day. Not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. disciples often saw Jesus praying. He talked with his Father in heaven every day. Sometimes he would pray along with other people, while other times he would quietly leave the crowds or his small group of disciples to spend time alone with God. One day after he was finished praying, one of his disciples asked him, Master, please teach us to pray. We have heard your servant John the Baptist teaching about prayer. Can you also teach us how to talk to God? Of course, Jesus agreed, because this was an important topic for all of his disciples to learn. So he began to teach, When you pray, begin with, Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Jesus taught his disciples that God is holy, and there is none like him. But even though God is so powerful and great, they could still call him Father, in the same way a young child talks to their own loving parent. He continued, your kingdom come, your will be done, here on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus called for his disciples to pray that the invisible kingdom of heaven would completely take over the kingdoms of the world. It was his will that every person on the earth would hear the good news of salvation so that they would have the opportunity to prepare for the coming king. Then Jesus addressed their physical needs with their daily concerns with, give us this day our daily bread. He encouraged the disciples to rely on God for food to eat, a place to live, and for clothes to wear. He urged them not to worry, but to trust their heavenly Father to provide everything they needed day by day. 
Next came these words, Forgive us our sins, as we forgive everyone who has wronged us. He was reminding them that in order to be forgiven by God, they must first forgive everyone who has hurt them. There is no sin that God cannot forgive. Likewise, there should be no wrongdoing that we cannot forgive in others. Jesus continued, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Most certainly the enemy of the world, Satan himself, was not happy about this conversation Jesus was having with his disciples. Through prayer, the disciples would receive strength to resist temptation and to avoid falling for the enemy's tricks. Prayer would be their rescue. Then Jesus taught them to be persistent in prayer. He said, let's say you go to your neighbor in the middle of the night with the urgent need. A friend of yours arrived unexpectedly and you have nothing to feed this hungry guest after a very long journey. But your neighbor does not want to be bothered because it is the middle of the night and everyone is sound asleep. Come back in the morning when it is day and the household is awake, but you continue to pound on the door, confident that if you persist, he will finally give you what you desperately need. Don't you think after all of this, your friend would finally give you the loaves? Jesus urged the disciples to pray with the same determination and persistence. He taught them to never give up. How encouraged the disciples were to learn that they could talk to an all-powerful God as their father and that he would provide for their needs, forgive their sins, and protect them from their enemies. The kingdom belongs to God, and his power and glory is forever. Hi children, I know you've had a good time with teacher Victor and here we are again and I hope you're ready for this. No, you're not. Go get your Bible, your pen and your notebook, okay? Mine is here. All right? Okay. See you. One of his followers said to him, Lord, teach us to pray. And Jesus said, When you pray, say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done.
Welcome back and here we are again. Now, today is going to be a very wonderful lesson. I know you've learned about the, the Lord's Prayer every single week. And here we are again that you're going to finalize the Lord's Prayer. It's really, really hurting. But you've learned a lot. And I want us, today we go step by step. We take the lessons that you've learned for each and every part of the Lord's Prayer. Are you ready? I'm so ready. I want to see you being ready right now. Being ready, being ready. So open with me from the Bible, Matthew chapter 6. We'll take our time today and just learn and learn and learn. So Matthew chapter 6. I'm already there and we'll, we'll start from 9 to 15. This is still the Lord's Prayer. After you've opened there, we can do the Lord's Prayer together. Are you ready? Okay. Open. Open. I've seen that some who are still opening. Okay. And then you can mark it. We'll come back to it. Okay, let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Heavenly Father. Someone has looked at me. We've started the wrong way. Let's do it one more time. Say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as you forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not, not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I want to see you clapping. All right. So that's our lesson for today, the entire Lord's Prayer. We've been learning so much, but you can do a recap on what we learned last time. So from everything that we learned, we just pick one of the last part, and that was, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. And we learned what thine means. Do you remember? Thine means yours. Yours is the kingdom. You're saying, Lord, the kingdom belongs to you. Me being patient, me being joyous, me being lovely, me being um, kind, all that belongs to you. It's not mine. And then we went ahead and say that, that the power is for the Lord. And what is this power? This power is what we see in his creation, the heavens and the earth. The trees, the mountains, the oceans. We looked at the ocean, how big it is. We even said the birds, the insects, the animals, the cows, the dogs, our pets. Actually, the power of God in our lives. And then we went ahead and said that this is a glory. You remember? The glory belongs to him as well. And what is this glory? We said it actually it's God's presence. He reveals himself in us. And that is the presence of God, okay? And we learned a new word that means God's presence. Do you remember the word that starts with an M? Manifestation. Manifestation means God's presence, okay? Now, let's now go, go back to, 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 to the day one that we started this lesson about the, uh, about the Lord's Prayer. We said, our Father who art in heaven. Our Father means what? Our Father in heaven. We can compare him with our earthly father. But God is beyond our earthly father. He's beyond our guardian because he is all-powerful. We recognize him where he is. Where does he sit? In heaven. Our father who art in heaven. We recognize him where he is. He is up there, always watching over us from afar. And then we went ahead and said, Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. We are recognizing that his name is powerful. Have you heard some time that your, your, your guardian prays or your parent prays by saying that Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, there's power in his name. And when we say, Hallowed be thy name, we are recognizing the power that he has in that name. Whenever you feel down, you don't want to read, I want you to be confessing Jesus' name. And you say, God, come here and help me to read. Whenever you feel a bit down, I want you to be confessing his name. You say, Jesus, 
come here. Whenever your sister is not feeling well or your brother, say, Jesus, heal my sister and brother. Jesus, help me to read. Jesus, help me to do things. Are you ready even to do right, right now? Okay, you ready? I want you to think about something that you want to pray for. We want to recognize the name. Hallowed be thy name, okay? Okay, I'm thinking of, I need my father to even get strength. Are you ready? All right? Say, Jesus, let my father be healed. Jesus, let my father be healed. That is recognizing that his name is powerful. Even in the Lord's Prayer, we recognize that his name is all-powerful, okay? And then the next part says what? Are you there? What's the next part of the Lord's Prayer? The kingdom come, thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thy kingdom come means what? It's you are recognizing that God's presence can be here with us. You remember? There's a time we mentioned that whenever you want to pray, we ask God to give us his presence. We ask for his kingdom to come. Do you want to be a kind boy and girl? Do you want to be a kind uh, little boy and girl? Do you want to be loving? Do you want to be caring? Then ask for his kingdom to come on earth. So today, myself, I'm asking for his kingdom to come here. And you know what I'm asking for? I'm asking for his love. I want to love everyone who is around me. I want to spend time with them, or for those who are around me. I want to spend so much time with them. Why? Because I love them. But this love is lacking. I want God to give me this love. So I'm asking, for that is the kingdom, the love of God. Come and dwell with me here. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Do you think that there is love in heaven? Do you think that there is kindness in heaven? That's the same thing that you need to have here. Let the kingdom be here. Let the love that is in heaven to come down. Let the kindness that is in heaven to be here with us today. All right? Let that be your prayer. Think of one thing or two things that you want to see here. I'm thinking about love. What are you thinking? Oh, you want a, some candy? <laughs> Pray for God to provide the candy here. All right? Give us this day our daily bread. That is the daily needs that we have. The daily needs that you think about. Do you want some bread in the morning and some butter? I'm thinking of my butter that I left at home. Do you think of the little, the chocolate, the cake? All right? But what you need to know is... The basic needs are really important. You remember when you learned about the basic needs? We learned about the needs and the wants. The needs is what you cannot live without, but the wants you can live without them. The needs, the needs is the food, the shelter, and the clothing. Do you have some clothes on you? Do you have the shelter, the house that you guys have? All right. Do you have um, anything that you think about around you? Food, shelter, and clothing. There is a food that we need every single day. We need some bread. We need some lunch. We need some fruits. Whenever your mom comes with the fruits or your father comes with the fruits, that's actually an answered prayer. All right? The daily bread that you pray for. Give us this day our daily bread. We pray for the daily bread, the food, shelter, and clothing every single time. In case you need more than that, you need a car, toy car, you need a doll like my friend here, ask for it. Ask for it. Ask for it through the Lord's Prayer. We went ahead also and said, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Sometimes our friends won't be just kind to us. They won't just be good to us. They'll keep on hurting us. All right? Remember when we learned that? That we need to pray for them. So that God can forgive us. That pain that we had in us. Every time we think about our friend uh, John and James, we feel like you're bitter. They're not good friends. Right? They keep on hurting us. You need to pray. All right? Pray for them. 
and God will forgive you. Lead us not into temptation. We said that we need to ask God, Lord, to lead us from eating some candy without permission or going to take some sugar somewhere or even playing bad games with our friends. Let us not get into those temptations because God desires the best. He will deliver us from all those things. And then the last part that we learned last Sunday. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. That is the word of God today. I want you to keep on thinking about the Lord's Prayer. So we take a short break, prepare your offering, and follow the instructions on your screens. Be ready for that. Amen. All right. See you then. This is how to give tithe and offerings. Go to your Mpesa menu. Select Lipa na Mpesa. Select Pay Bill. Input the church business number 852239. Input the account number, which should be your reason for paying, for example, tithe or offering. Input your MPESA password and send. You shall receive a notification of your payment. How to pay your pledge for the Buy a Brick project? Go to your MPESA menu. Select Lipa na Mpesa. Select Pay Bill. Input the business number 505255. Input the account number, which should be your reason for paying. For example, monthly payment or weekly payment. Put your Mpesa password. Send. You shall receive a notification of your payment. For accounting purposes, you can forward the message to the charge number, which is 0708397097. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. May He continue to bless the work of your hands. Welcome back, and here we are, and I want us to pray for the offering and the tithe also. I know you've been helped by your parents, but here let's, let's bless the work of our parents, okay? Our Heavenly Father, we say thank you for the tithe and offering that you've given us. May you bless the work of our parents. May you bless the businesses, the work that they go every single day. Bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And our memory verse is very simple today. It's just the Lord's Prayer. Okay? So we'll say the Lord's Prayer as we conclude. Put your hands like this. Okay? So let's say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us all our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let's shout to Jesus. All right, clap your hands. Okay, and here we are. The Lord's praise in us, and we'll continue to learn more. May you be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye. Because God is your spiritual father, he loves you and wants to bless your life. Through prayer, you can talk with him. In prayer, we thank God for our blessings. We also ask for needed blessings. You can pray by speaking to God in your mind or out loud. How to pray. Step 1. Say, Heavenly Father, because you are talking with Him. Step 2. Give thanks for your blessings. What are you thankful for? Step 3. Ask for needed blessings. All of us go through hard trials, 
God can give us the strength and answers to help us overcome our challenges. Step 4. Say, In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. God sent to earth His perfect Son, Jesus Christ, to show us how to live. We pray in His name so that we align our will with His. In reality, you can say whatever you need to in a prayer. You can talk with your Heavenly Father anytime, anywhere. He loves you. He is anxiously waiting to hear from you. He wants to hear about your concerns and desires. And He will answer you through the power of the Holy Ghost. Here is an example of a prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank Thee so much for Thy love for me, for my life, my family, and for all of my blessings. Please help me to have the strength to overcome my challenges. Help me to recognize ways to be better and to follow Thy will. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen.